how's everyone doing today? Welcome to Brain Food Brand Honey. This is our second episode. that I did a couple days ago and I'm gonna be including that footage in here uh, right now we're going to the post office as you can see in our back seat we have plenty <laughs> plenty of packages they, the fans have been awesome and I am very appreciative of all of our customers yeah we're thinking about doing some brain food brand hat you may have seen it in Omar's video um, I'll put a link to the description uh, for that video in the description and um, we were thinking about doing some embroidered hats um, we're into making our own clothing to start with you can go check out some of our stuff on the website just to see what we uh, what we like to do but we're gonna go up to Dick's Sporting Goods real quick yeah. and uh, we're gonna look at some of the cups. We went there yesterday. It's like, why are we going again? But we saw some things that I thought about, and we're gonna head back and uh, and buy those things. So. Joy, get over here. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Get up here. See the reach trees that are farther apart. When you go camping. Um, especially like backpacking, you don't even notice how far those trees are apart when, when you're not looking for it. But when you're looking for when you're looking for a camp, you're like, oh, none of these trees are close enough to put my hammock to. You know, so you're for sure. A pain in the butt. That would be a pain in the butt. So you get some extra long straps, so you can definitely get. There's tinder here. But I wasn't kidding about this. We really have some packages I got some packages to go here's some for you go. good stuff joy you, <laughs> you gotta stay you, you're not gonna help us you're not gonna help us you stay right there anyways um Wednesday we're going to do a bee removal with Omar Gosh TV, so go check him out on YouTube. Um, it'll probably be another week or so before he releases his episode. He's got a lot more things going on than me. I mean, we're both working extra hard, but he just does a lot of YouTube content. I'm just doing a lot of honey related stuff. So, And we're going to show some clips of that. Actually, I'll just throw in as much as I feel is necessary. I hope you guys enjoy this bee removal and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment because I am pretty active in the comments. Uh, yep, super familiar. Like I said, I've been to this property twice now. This will be my third time being in here. We have arrived. And we're going to ignite the pine straw. Once we ignite the pine straw. We're gonna add we're gonna add some more pine straw in and get some smoky effect. Now we're gonna add this dirty ash that came out from before. And I always dump it out so we have a clean clean bottom here. Then too much. We can light it on fire. Okay. There. <laughs> see the drone right in front of the camera first thing I always do is I always smoke out the entrance okay you guys still here of course sir. Okay. so now we're gonna open up the box that the bees are gonna go in open that thing up, and we're gonna take this off and put a good amount of bees directly into the box, okay? Once we start adding smoke here, then we're gonna shake this. Let's 
shake that call and go. All right, so we got the homeowner out here. Um, like I said, they always come outside just to see what's going on. And we're just going to shield his identity for his protection. But um, he is interested just like you guys are. So we're going to go in here and we're going to look for the queen because of how docile these bees are versus how riled up the, the ones over there are. Typically when they get separated from the queen, yeah. they get kind of irritated. Your box over there. Yeah. This, is a, this is a pretty old comb. I'd say that this is, they probably moved in right about the... They did right after. Yeah. Because this, this comb right here, how dark it is, mm -hmm. it's about a year old. That's what I would do there. So we're just going to do this for another 10 minutes or so. I don't know if you guys can see this. I got stung once here and once here. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror so you guys are seeing it before I'm seeing it. All right. Uh, we're going to come back tonight after the sun goes down and uh, transport that box back to the house. And uh, tomorrow when the bees wake up, They'll be in a completely new location. They're going to start their life over on my property. And um, probably next year, uh, they'll start making orange blossom honey when we move them. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And um, stay tuned. Click that like. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see more uh, beekeeping videos.